guys, this is insane. Look at this. That says creator on the rise. Sony. And this one is the one that I'm most excited about. You're the real MVP. I mean, I can't make any of this YouTube stuff without people like you. Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Alex and this is The Car Creative and this is a new camera video, which is super exciting, but I don't think it's the kind of camera that you guys might think it is. I put it out on my Instagram, uh, I don't know, a week ago or something, and you guys were tossing out Reds and Panasonics and all these other fancy cameras, Canon R5s, Canon R6s, which I already have, so why would I need a new camera and which one is it? Because the Sony a7 IV is not out yet. I don't need the a7S III because I've got the Canon R5 and the R6 and the reds are just so expensive, so what am I filming on right now? Well, the camera that I got, it's kind of interesting. It's not like a super cinematic camera or anything, but I got the Sony ZV-1. Why did I do that? Well, I want to make more content kind of like this, where I just hang out with you guys, and this camera is insanely easy to use. It's a point and shoot, it's got a built-in lens with an aperture of 1.8 through 2.8 at a 24 to 70, and I got some pretty cool accessories that I'm gonna walk you guys through so that hopefully this camera can turn into a sweet daily vlog camera. Stick around, this video is gonna be me using the Sony ZV-1, getting to know it a little bit, adding my accessories to it, Guys, it's sunsets like this. This is what we live for. Imagine just having a beautiful Porsche on this road. I mean, it is a gravel road, so you'd probably need the new Cross Turismo or something, but for now, we've got the Honda Civic. And let me, let me actually show you this little thing on the Honda Civic that I've been doing. It's, uh, it's kind of ridiculous. All right, guys, so we are rocking a 2006 Honda Civic, and the cruise control doesn't work anymore. It doesn't, like, stay in, which it needs to stay in. So what I did, Made a ball of tape, a little gaff tape. There you go. Constantly presses that down and we're good to cruise control because we're on a we're on a little highway drive home. Look how cinematic the light looks here with coming through the, the mirror. Sun, mirror, cinema. Anyways guys, I'm gonna bring you back home. The accessories are arriving tomorrow at my door so I'll make sure to put those on the camera, show you guys how I use and hope to use this really cool new pocket camera. First thing I want to do is show you some of the audio upgrades that I've got for my Sony ZV-1. Uh, these are the Rode Go Mic 2s and they're incredible. Uh, they're so affordable and they really do help the audio quality so let's just switch this over real quick. So check that out, I mean there's a pretty big difference in the audio quality so using the really cool showcase mode here on the ZV-1, hopefully you guys can see this. Um, they're these like tiny things and they actually have microphones on the top of them But I've chosen to go with one of the lav mics that I've already got for just a little bit of a higher quality And my last video actually if you guys want to go check that out was filmed entirely with this setup So the ZV-1 and the Rode Go Mic 2 and uh, my brand new aperture lights that they've very kindly sent to me So the next thing that I got is one of these little Ulanzi mini tripods I just wanted to be able to extend the camera a little bit away from my face. It's got a little tripod so I can set it up on the table here. And then it also extends a little bit, I think. So a very small extension arm and a little ball head so we can tilt that. One of the other cons of this camera is that the battery life is pretty poor. So I just went onto Amazon and we picked up three more batteries. Nothing crazy, but this way we can extend our battery life. And this one is the one that I'm most excited about. Check this out. It is the Ulanzi, it's the kind of wide angle lens. So I'm very curious actually to test this out and see what kind of focal length it will give us. If we want to use the active steady shot in the Sony ZV-1, it does crop in quite a bit. So I'm hoping that this will give us the ability to have active steady shot and still be at a decently wide angle. The other cool thing about this is that it actually gives you a thread then that I can use for a variable ND filter or possibly a CPL filter if I wanted to shoot some cars with this as well because it has a 20 megapixel raw 
camera at 1.8, which is, it's crazy what this little camera can pack into it. So let's go test out these brand new things with the Sony ZV-1. If you guys have never tried any of these like electric long boards, they're genuinely like one of the best times ever. Oh, there's a coyote. Cool. He's out there somewhere. The zoom feature with that wide lens is like significantly slower. Significantly. So I know the crazy thing about this is that a lot of people are trying to get the nicest piece of kit, the nicest gear. So why did I get the Sony ZV-1? Well, it's because I want to become a better storyteller. And I also want to encourage you guys that you don't need the best piece of gear to start making and creating content that, I don't know, you can be proud of, that you can tell stories of, that you can remember your life with. I mean, ultimately though, this camera is loaded. This thing is a sub $1,000 camera. I think in America, this camera is like 700 bucks. You've got a 24 to 70 lens at a 1.8. You've got built-in ND filters. This thing is mad. It comes with this awesome dead cat on top. It shoots in 4K with crazy active image stabilization. Like this thing ultimately is a loaded camera. But I think what's really cool about the creator atmosphere right now, think about it like this. Doug DeMuro, one of the greatest car reviewers on YouTube, uses his iPhone and like a small camcorder. So if that says anything about not letting camera gear getting in the way, that's it. Like just use what you've got, start telling stories, do something that you're passionate about. Now I'm not sponsored by these guys at all, but if any of these board companies want to give me one of these, Heck yes, I'm in. These things are the freaking coolest. One of my favorite things about these like electric boards is that uh, this has brakes. It's awesome. So yeah, feeling a little bit, uh, feeling a little bit like Matty Hapoya-ish right now. Now I think another one of the reasons I downgraded to a camera like this is that you don't have to worry about the shutter speed, the aperture, the ISO. You can literally just turn it on and it'll just record your story. And I love the freedom that comes with that. Of course, understanding your camera, knowing how to use it is so important. But when you get to a certain point, you just wanna tell stories, you just wanna go, you just wanna capture a moment. And I think that that's what this camera is here for me to do. So I hope that you guys enjoy the kind of content that you'll be getting from this camera and of course many other cameras. But uh, this one I'm hoping will just be a tool that we can use to tell stories faster, better, uh, and connect with you guys a little bit more. So feel free to subscribe, like, hang out with me again. But otherwise, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. That's so crazy. I just use the electric skateboard as like a, a dolly slide thing. Super dangerous. Do not recommend that. If you guys are still here at the end of the video, you're the real MVP. I mean, I can't make any of this YouTube stuff without people like you uh, who actually watch the video. So thank you guys so much. Um, it means a lot. If you want to support, there is a join button down below on YouTube now. I will be trying to give you guys exclusive content like behind the scenes of what's going on with my day, what projects I'm working on that won't be as like edited or YouTubed up. Um, so feel free to join that down below if you want. There's two different tiers. One just gets you in. The other one will give you discounts on all my presets uh, as well as some extra content. And as well, last but certainly not least, if you guys are interested in buying a car creative hat, check the link down below. Guys, this is insane. Look at this. That says creator on the rise on YouTube. My buddy just sent this to me. This is crazy. We're on the list. <laughs> we're doing it. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Cause we're on the rise, baby. <laughs> it's also a really fun thing about being like in the middle of nowhere. You can sell it like so hard. Woo! We're on the rise. <laughs> That's so crazy. Thanks guys, that's uh, it's really nice. Of Like YouTube and you, cause YouTube wouldn't think I'm on the rise unless you did. 
right? <laughs>